Uh, it's just a blessing, to be honest. I mean, I, I'm not, I wouldn't say I was 100% today, but I was good enough to go. So, I mean, I was blessed to get out the game healthy, and I didn't um, have any new injuries or um, reoccurring injuries. So, it was just good to be back out there with the guys. When did you know you were going to be ready to go? Uh, I practiced on Tuesday, so I was like, I can play. Josh, what's the, you guys are trying to make that next step as a program, and we've seen games like this before, the defense struggling, and I guess just what's the frustration level at as you kind of go through this again? Um, I just feel like we just got to bounce back from this, to be honest. I mean, uh, I, we can't blame it all on the defense. We put them in a few bad situations, but um, it's just competing against uh, the highest level teams. Notre Dame is one of those teams, even though their record didn't show that they were um, one of the best right now. They still got dudes on the board and they got a great coaching staff. So it's just uh, competing with the best of the best and not just uh, beating the teams that we're supposed to beat. As a leader, what do you kind of say to the team to kind of get them back on track here versus the defense? Uh, I mean, we got, I mean, it, it, all of us are brothers. So at the end of the day, we're going to hold each other accountable. But um, we just got to go to practice tomorrow. Um, we got to get better. And then we can't blame or point the finger on anybody because everybody could have been better tonight. Is there any of that going on, Josh? Blaming and then pointing fingers. Like, do you see any of that defensively? It looks like those guys have gotten frustrated at times, and you know, there's been some words said. Uh, I wouldn't say it's like pointing fingers. I mean, like it's just frustration. Um, everybody sometimes doesn't make a play. Sometimes they do make a play. So it's just a little bit of that. We just got to be more consistent um, on offense and defense. It's not just them. So. Uh, I wouldn't say anybody's pointing the finger per se. We're a whole group. We love each other. We're a family, so we just got to bounce back. What is the level of frustration though with uh, the, the way the thing, way the game played out? And... I feel like it's just a little similar to last year because I mean a lot of the guys that are playing this year didn't experience last year. I mean I did, so uh, I'm not. It's not like this is a new feeling to me. Uh, so it's just it's just a little frustrating because of that. But I mean. It is what it is. We're going to bounce back. Josh, take us, take us through the play where you scored the – you caught the first touchdown ball. I mean, it looked like you went up over the dude, mm -hmm. reached back over him. And was that kind of like a nice, welcome back moment? Oh, you yeah. You had play for a while? Yeah, I mean, I felt like I just uh, – was. It, I mean, I didn't know how good I was going to feel like playing against a whole other team, especially Notre Dame. Um, so just uh, being able to make a play like that, it's a blessing. Um, and, and not coming out of the game with any injuries. So I just, uh, I was just happy to be out there, happy to make some new plays and uh, be out there with the guys. So can't complain. What did you say to that defensive back? <laughs> I was just like, I just looked down on him. I said, I just dunked on you, boy. So something like that. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh yeah, definitely Antoine. He's he's worked his butt off um, for the past two, few years because he had he had a gruesome injury a few years ago, and just seeing him out there make plays tonight with me um, and the team. I mean, I texted him a few days ago, and I was just like, I'm glad to be out there with you again, bro. And he he was like, same, it's mutual. So just seeing him be able to make plays and run around and be healthy is it's a blessing for both of us. So I'm proud of him. What was Max' message in the locker room to, to the team after the game? Uh, he was just telling us he's proud of us, even though we took that loss. I mean, we got a couple bad calls that went our way, but that ultimately didn't decide the game. But I feel like it, and I mean, it, there were some bad calls in there, but uh, we just got to, um, he was just telling us we just got to come back tomorrow and work because we got VT next week, a very winnable game. Um, so we should compete with them and uh, try to win next week. What was your vantage point on him going off in the official? Uh, I, I was, uh, I, I was like kind of fired up to see Coach Brown like that. Uh, backing us up. I mean, I think that was a bad call. I don't really think Cedric had a pass interference on that play. So seeing Coach out there fired up for us and really uh, defending us, it was uh, it was kind of like a it was a big moment for the team because we were like, yeah, Coach behind us, even though we already knew he was behind us, but he showed it again today. Is that actually something you take from this and move forward with? Yeah, I mean, he he was backing us up out there. He wasn't just it was a bad call, and he was he was gonna stand on that. He was willing to do anything for it. So, Josh, was there anything that you felt? in any way tentative or hesitant, hesitant about with what you're doing, I don't know, out of a break or something like that in terms of your health today? Was there anything you were like, I need to watch myself in this sort of situation? Nah, I was, I mean, when I'm in game, I don't really focus on 
Um, if I'm out there, I'm out there, so I can't really be worried about how my leg feels or this and that. So I was just worried about trying to make the play for my team and um, running the best route possible. So um, I wasn't really favoring my leg at all. I mean, I mean, I played, I moved around better than I thought I did, so I was, I was happy to see that. You talking about like thinking Mac has you has back with, with the penalty you got? You, did you feel like that's sort of a team wide reaction to, to what happened there? You don't see that happen often, you know, with a head coach getting flagged like that. Did you feel like the team sort of felt that way as a whole? Yeah, I mean, everybody was just like, oh, like y'all saw Mac out there going crazy, so it was just like everybody was like, um, it was a moment like just like coach cares about us. So I feel like um, he was standing behind us in that moment. Everybody felt like that. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, John.